Right, so iOS 26 beta 4 has kicked off on iOS devices. Let's jump in and see what's new and changed for Apple CarPlay. So let's get started. Right, so we're in the home screen here, all ready to rock. Nothing has really changed on the home screen. We're still running the higher display mode, so things are a little bit smaller. We can swipe left. We still unfortunately only got the two widgets. No three widgets have come back and they're behaving pretty much the same, although there are a few bugs still in terms of the formatting. So unfortunately, no three widgets there on iOS beta 4. We'll jump into maps. Not much has changed here. Still pretty much the same. We've got the reports here are pretty much the same here as well. And uh, unfortunately on the car system here on the Cupra Born, that still doesn't work with pinch and zoom, unfortunately. Slow zooming in. And you can see here all the transparency is still intact, shadows are still intact. This is still warping things. Sharper a little bit more, the color more strikes through the panels here. I'm not sure if that's the same or just looking at a different section. Just feels a little bit more contrasty, a bit more vivid on the map screen there. We can jump into Apple Music. Not much has changed here in terms of visuals. You can go to the now playing screen and whilst that track is playing, that option that we had earlier is now missing. So if you create a station, you get that option and then you can then choose autoplay and audio mix. The flow is slightly changed, but the option is still there. The voicemail option is still there in the top right hand corner. Uh, that hasn't changed, but it's still persistent. Uh, the now playing section has pretty much stayed the same with navigation adapting. When you start and stop navigation, that panel does get a little bit bigger. You can see here and the suggestions go away. Over in the podcast app, pretty much the same. We've got the speed increase and decrease there. That hasn't changed. And that also still plays fine with the options there on the bottom left to skip. The calendar has pretty much stayed the same with the event details a bit more granular. And over in the settings section, everything is pretty much the standard options that hasn't really changed since beta two really, with the exception of wallpapers. Now, we've got a lot more wallpapers. Apple have completely got rid of a lot of the old historic wallpapers that we've seen since CarPlay since almost day one. We now have just a white screen. We have a sort of off gray, blue, dove blue kind of color. We have a kind of cream color. Then we have a red hue of the iOS 26 We've got a titanium brown kind of orange kind of color. Green, gray, which is like black and white. And then we've got purple. And then we've got the default blue there. Now we can set, like, go for a film noir kind of theme with this. And then we can go back into icons, which you can also now customize on iOS 26. Then we can go into a dark version. And then you've got kind of like a film noir kind of look, which is pretty cool. These are presented a little bit nicer now. Uh, when we go to a light version, they've had a bit of a darker treatment. So they actually stand out now, which uh, wasn't the case on uh, beta three, I think. So that's been improved on that side. And again, if you change the wallpaper to something a little bit more colorful, Uh, that looks good too with the clear icons, I think. And obviously you can see it's all warping and distorting a little bit nicer, which is good to see too. Also, you'll notice that the calendar has now returned from an actual date now. And it used to be just like a more generic icon with just random sort of dots for numbers, but now it's now returned back to the date. So that's much more welcome. So something also worth mentioning is that we will shortly be able to cast our video apps via AirPlay to your CarPlay display while stationary. Now everyone's saying that it's an app thing and as soon as YouTube allow it for iOS 26, it's gonna work. No, basically your vehicle will need to have an update to allow the vehicle to talk to the CarPlay system Make sure that you're stationary, such as monitoring your park, parking brake, basically, and then provide the ability to cast video from your favorite YouTube 
or TikTok and things like that using airplay mode to your car display. So not everyone's gonna be able to get this off the bat. It might be improved with iOS GPS positioning, but that could potentially be tricked or even turned off and that might limit the functionality on how that actually works. So I believe that you will need a car system update, which means it's most likely gonna be only be available for more modern cars, and you'll still need to go through an AI box or something like that, should you want the ability to watch video on your CarPlay display in a much more older car. And if you are interested in an AI box, you can check out my playlist up here to catch all my AI box reviews for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Okay, so that's a quick summary of iOS Beta 4. Not really much to write home about other than the wallpapers. A few tweaks has been happening in the background. Very slight, subtle with animations as well, as well as the ability to touch through on some of these panels that might display to go straight to a certain section in CarPlay. But other than that, it's really just the wallpapers in this particular version. And you'll be also be able to download this version now with the launch of the public beta, that should be happening very soon. So this is the level of where we're at right now in iOS 26, if you want to check that out on the public beta. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If it has, give us a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or anything you like on iOS 26, and I'll try my best to answer them. If you like this content and you'd like to support my channel, you can do so by sending us a super thanks down below on YouTube, or check out my QR code up here to buy me a coffee. You can support me there too. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.